Hello and welcome to Clan Macad. Today it's just a quick and helpful memory trick using the third and first angle projection symbols. Now, if you hadn't already realised it, these symbols represent two orthographic views of a truncated cone laid out in the respective projective method that the symbol is representing. Now, in both symbols, the truncated cone starts in the plan or top view, whichever you prefer to call it, facing towards you. And for first angle, we learned from our previous videos that the easy way to remember it is to think of it as the physical object on the paper tipping in the direction of the view we're looking to create. And then remember in third angle, it's about pulling the nearest orthographic face out in the direction of the view you're creating, resulting in the symbol. What this means is that between these two symbols, if you know they're a truncated cone and you know it's about which way the side view pulls out, as to which projection method you're using, you'll be able to use these symbols to refresh your memory. While I'm flattered that many people have said my previous third and first angle projection videos have been great revision tools, you're going to have to add these symbols to drawings anyway. It's part of your technical drawing standards, regardless of what area you're in, whether it's British, American, international standards, they all have to have the symbol on the drawing if you're doing it properly. So if this makes it just that bit quicker for you guys to refresh your memory, then I'm happy for that. So I hope this helped and I will see you next time.